WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the uh, 3 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down, uh, the S&P is down 50 at 44.39. The Dow is down uh, 205 points at 34,516, just above the 200-period moving average. The QQQ NDX 100 sharply down. It's down 5.74 at 343.40. The IWM, the Russell 2000, is also down. It's up a little bit today, but down sharply from its uh, reversal up at the 200-period moving average at the end of March at about 211. Here it is at 197. Mm, not very good. And the gold is trading very nicely here. Here, it's still up seven at 1963. It's within this rectangle formation, a long sideways uh, rectangle. And as soon as it's able to start trading in the 1986, maybe 1992 area, that's a breakout to the upside. That's going to be important. It hasn't done it yet. You're looking at. Uh, I'm going to go to crude oil. Crude oil is trading down. It's down four at 94.18. We've been looking at this for a while, saying it, at any point if it starts to close under 92. That's a really big give back of the huge gains from the 129 high of the 7th of March. At some point, it'll kick in again. Uh, but at this point, there's, there must be some uh, liquidity. There must be some oil around that's uh, forcing prices down. And if you're looking at the TLT, we'll spend a little time in that when we get back for the Tom O'Brien show, which I'll be the guest host for. Down $2 at 123.03. Breaking out of really important uh, trend support. And I call this Chapman Wave Inside Track support level. And it's underneath it now. And if you look at the TBT, which is the inversion, it's broken out from its resistance level. A lot to talk about. You look at this beautiful cup formation um, in the uh, TBT ultra short Lehman 20 T bond ETF uh, moving in the same direction as the 10 year yield. So I'll be back in a few moments and we'll do a lot of things here because we want to look at the markets. We want to look at what is happening in the overall market is there some kind of strength that will suddenly find its way to move the market higher or are we just is this doomed to keep going down day after day we're at a very critical level this week i'll talk about it when we get back